happening now. Okay, so uh, what, are the, what is the difference and when do you use feel the feelings and the observer and what's the pros and cons around that and maybe even put that through the prism of pain? Well, let's use, um, now I intuitively use feel the feelings or the observer practice, lots of videos on my YouTube channel. If you just do feel the feelings or the observer tool, you'll find uh, how to do those uh, two tools. So the feel the feelings um, is very, very, I mean, sometimes I'll use feel the feelings on pain. So if there's pain, there's not, I mean, it seems like there's a me that's being affected by pain. So if I stop labeling, let go of the idea there's a me, that's a label. Let go of the idea there is pain. Pain is a label. Uh, let go of there's a you know there's a there's a concept of me experiencing pain, uh, and just dissolve everything. Dissolve every thought. Uh, try and take out any resistance, any unconscious labeling, any unconscious uh, not wanting to be with just what is, and just allow everything to just dissolve myself. Dissolve the duality. Dissolve all concepts and thoughts, and just be with what is. So it's almost like a unconscious embracing of what is, not a me not wanting to have pain or labeling a story in my head. And sometimes I'll do that and the pain will very gradually dissolve away and I'll do that. Or sometimes um, it can be, depending on uh, what I feel intuitively, and it also depends on the person. Some people find feel the feelings or observer easier to do. You'll probably do the one that you feel drawn to or use both at the same time. So or if there's suddenly pain, it goes, oh my God, I feel this pain in my toe. All right, there, so obviously there's a me and there seems to be a pain and it seems to be in distance and, 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 and it seems to be dialogue and thinking and a me being affected by it. But okay, what's observing the pain? Is there an observer of the pain right now? Is an observer of me and the pain? Is there an observer of me? Who is the me that's being affected by the pain? Can I be the observer or the witnesser of the me that seems to be affected by pain? And some, sometimes I just pop out of it, you know, oh yes, there's an observer here, there's an observer in the room, that's not me, that's not the pain, and is not actually experiencing pain. Uh, and if that observer seems to be experiencing it, is there an observer of that observer which doesn't experience any pain, is not affected by me or the pain? So sometimes there can be a huge spiritual experience and, uh, and then the pain uh, vanishes. Because um, when there's resistance to pain, you experience the resistance. Okay, so I'll stop on the differences between feel the feelings and observer. Um, 